In late September of 2012, Harold Henthorne surprises his wife, Dr. Tony Henthorne, and whisks her away for a weekend anniversary hike in scenic Rocky Mountain National Park. It sounded like a fabulous weekend, romantic, tragically for all of her friends and family. It ended horribly. And I have a series of texts from my brother-in-law, Harold Henthorne, regarding my sister, Tony Henthorne. This says, Barry, urgent. Tony is injured. Fall from rock. She has been in a critical accident. Falls off of a ledge 140 feet. And she does die there on the mountain that night. Being the big brother and supposed to take care of your sister, you can't do it. It's a bad feeling. I needed to be there for my sister, and I couldn't. Tony Henthorne died in Rocky Mountain National Park in 2012 in a fall. Within a day or two after Tony Henthorne's accident, I got an anonymous email at the station. It was very cryptic, and it just said, Harold Henthorne, his first wife, died in a freak accident as well. Her name is Lynn Henthorne. Lynn had died 17 years earlier. Lynn was so loving. She was a great sister-in-law to me. Did Harold love his wife? Did he love Lynn? Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Lynn and Harold, they'd been on a drive late at night. They had stopped to fix a soft tire, not even a flat tire. Somehow she ends up under the Jeep, apparently trying to retrieve a lug nut. A jack fails, and the Jeep falls on her, crushing her and killing her when I was the Douglas County coroner. And I looked in the coroner's report from 1995. The manner of death for Lynn Hanthorne was accident. I don't think the truth was determined. I don't believe it was an accident. Lynn and Tony, it was deja vu. I felt like I was reliving the same events. Remote area, rescue efforts are limited, it's dark. It's the same scenario. We have the questions of insurance money for both women. And the only witness to both deaths is Harold Henthorne. The Harold you knew, mm -hmm. was he a good man? Yes. Someone you trusted? Yeah, I trusted him with my life. I, I never suspected any sort of malice within him. This is either the unluckiest guy in the world whose two wives have died under freakish, unusual circumstances, or perhaps it's something far more sinister. It could be murder.